Hello everyone, I'm Mora, the lesbian unicorn from CoinInfo News, and today we are here with a very special guest, Nathan, the CTO of Local CoinSwap, and he will help us understand more about this amazing project. Nathan, what can you tell us about yourself? So my name is Nathan and I'm the Chief Technical Officer of Local CoinSwap and actually I'm one of the founders as well. So by trade I was an algorithmic trader and a programmer before I became the CTO of Local CoinSwap. And I first got involved in cryptocurrency in 2011 and in 2015 I actually started a private investment fund in the cryptocurrency sector. So I've got a, a fair bit of relevant experience with cryptocurrency. But I actually trained as an economist originally. I studied uh, economics and statistics at university. So I've always had a bit of an interest in monetary policy and macroeconomics. So as soon as I first discovered cryptocurrency, it kind of opened up a rabbit hole for me and I dived straight in. So before I got into cryptocurrency, I actually thought I was going to be a banker. But I guess now I'm kind of as far away from that life as you can really get. So, I mean, I don't think I'm perfect and like anyone else, I, I'm very fallible. I make a lot of mistakes, but I truly believe not just in the power of decentralization, but that what we're doing with local coin swap is necessary for the future of cryptocurrency. So I think that belief is what's kept me motivated through this project for the last six months. And it's the reason why I'm so excited to be here today. Well, that's amazing. You have really practical experience in this field and this is really helpful. How about local coin swap? How did it start? Well, I mean, being a trader for so many years, I had a lot of experience with quite a few different platforms. And during that time, I've sort of seen like what works and what doesn't, as well as all of the common issues that you see with a lot of exchanges nowadays, such as difficulty with the verification process and, of course, trouble withdrawing. But out of all of these things, the thing that bothered me the most is sort of the total centralization that you currently see in cryptocurrency markets. I mean, the very like ethos of cryptocurrency is that it's supposed to be decentralized. But why are a handful of super rich people controlling so much of the wealth of this entire sector of the economy? I mean, if you go to, say, coinmarketcap.com and you're looking at the top exchanges, you're seeing revenue from some of them in the order of billions of dollars per day. And you have to really ask yourself, where where is all this profit going? So, I mean, it's the very same problem that you see in banking and in the traditional finance industry, and it's still present in cryptocurrency. So last year, about halfway through last year, we decided that we wanted to challenge that model and create something different. So. We wanted to create a model where everything is decentralized, just like cryptocurrency itself is decentralized. So the community trades on the platform, the community runs the platform, and the community owns the platform. And so here we are. The struggle is real, I feel you. <laughs> the struggle is real. How about the ICO? How is it going so far? So it's been a very long journey. We had a private pre-ICO round. We had a pre-sale round, which started on March the 15th. And then we had a, a two-month ICO, which we're just nearing the end of. We've got about 22 days left to go of it. But overall, I think we've done really well. We've raised like close to seven million US dollars now, and our soft cap was half a million US dollars. So we've raised almost 14 times what we needed to raise to get the project off the ground and call it a success. But I have to say that it's not really the funds that we've raised that gets me excited. It's actually the number of people that have participated. So we currently have about five and a half thousand unique people who have signed up to the platform already. So I think this will allow us to open trading with a significant user base already established. This is really amazing. Congrats. But let's Thank help you. our readers and viewers understand better what exactly is local coin swap and what makes it different from other projects. Well, I mean, at its essence, local coin swap is a profit decentralizing peer to peer trading platform. And we aim to support all the cryptocurrencies and all the payment methods that we can. So the trading style is peer to peer, which cuts out the middleman. And it also cuts out central points of failure like banks and financial institutions. So we're opening with trading available for 20 cryptocurrencies and we're going to implement more as fast as development time allows. I mean, obviously we have limited amounts of developers, so we can't open with every cryptocurrency. So we're going to open with the top 20 and then implement more as fast as possible. So uh, apart from that, we're also aiming to be a one-stop shop for new ICO tokens. So new ICO projects can approach us, they can get rated by our community, they can get listed on our platform, and our community itself can help with, Nathan, with, with nascent stage fundraising. But I think it's important to clarify that what we're doing is profit decentralizing and not kind of decentralized in the normal meaning of how some people might understand that word. 
So right now, when you see decentralized platforms, that usually means a really, really slow interface and having to download specialized software to trade. So, and also no oversight of the escrow process. So we think that the true meaning of decentralization is not that kind of slow user interface and difficult trading experience, but when the profits of the business actually flow back to the people who are creating them. So I think we're the only viable project at the moment with this concept. And I think above everything else, that's what makes us truly unique. There's truly really something unique because no other project offer this. Will local concept give its users tokenizing ownership of the exchange itself? Well, by tokenizing ownership of the exchange itself, we're giving the investors the profit from all of the trading on the entire platform. So we're doing this through quarterly distribution of profits. So I guess to clarify any kind of confusion, I mean, obviously it does take funds to actually run the platform ex itself. So every quarter we collect the funds raised and then we obviously have to pay for operational costs of the site. But after that, all profits are distributed to all of the holders of our tokens. And apart from like just getting the profits, they also get the profits in the original currencies that they were made in. So it's not like we get all of the profits from the platform and convert them into one currency and distribute them to the investors. If we earn a set amount of Ethereum and we earn a set amount of Monero and a set amount of Bitcoin, then we distribute that back to the community in the, in the same currencies that we actually made it in. And uh, apart from that, investors can also benefit from a new ICO listing service. So a condition of listing your ICO on our platform is that a payment has to be made, an airdrop, which goes to all of the members of our community. So, I mean, it's kind of like an additional benefit just over the distribution of the profits itself. But more importantly than like airdrops or profit distributions, we also have voting benefits for our token. So all the important platform decisions are actually taken to a community vote using proof of stake voting. So we're actually like, We've actually already held our first community vote about a month ago, which was completing a, a major milestone on our roadmap ahead of schedule. So basically, it's win-win for everybody, and this is really important for any healthy project. What yeah, I think mean? like I think it is win-win in that like we benefit, our investors benefit, and also there's benefits for projects that are on our platform. This is really useful for everybody, and we'll encourage lots of users to use local coins. So I'm really sure of it. But what can you tell us about the crypto shares of local CoinSwap? Well, I guess most importantly, the essence of crypto shares is not complicated. I mean, unlike a lot of projects out there, we're not promising a brand new technology and we're not promising that we're going to create something that's currently thought to be impossible. I mean, everything that we're trying to do involves using existing technology to solve a problem. So we actually have completed this and we released the full source code for all of the crypto shares before we even launched our pre-sale funding round for the sake of transparency. So everything that we're promising to do, the software is already released on GitHub and investors can audit, audit the code themselves before investing. So we're currently in talks with some major exchanges regarding the possibility of listing crypto shares to provide additional liquidity to, liquidity to investors. So we can't comment on the outcome of that yet because we aren't sure how negotiations are going to go. But we can also say that we are confident that we will get some exciting partnerships. And one thing to note is that we're always going to allow trading of crypto shares on local coins or itself. So we'll also we'll always provide a source of liquidity for investors there. Really nice. As they say, behind every project, there's the soul of the team. How about your team? What can you tell us about them? Well, I think most importantly, our team is zero fluff. So, I mean, you'll see a lot of projects with like 20, 30, 40 team members on their website. And I mean, if you click through their LinkedIn's, I mean, barely any of them will really be associated with the project in any meaningful way. But everyone on our team is dedicated and working full time. We've got five full time programmers, including myself, which is more than enough to develop the platform that we're trying to develop. And we've got a marketing officer, a chief's operations officer, a financial officer and a mayor who's our content creator. So, I mean, everyone on the team is there because they believe in what we're creating. Uh, we work every day and in multiple time zones. So we're always sort of passing the torch to someone else when one of the team members go to, goes to sleep. And I think the community's noticed that. We get a lot of comments how we're sort of always online, always on social media. You can always get through to us, which I think really differentiates us from a lot of other projects. But most importantly, our, our team is democratic. I mean, as you may have noticed, we don't actually have a CEO. So there's no central point of leadership and all the important decisions in this project, we actually make through discussion and voting. So I think that does really set us apart from other projects. We're sort of living and breathing decentralization in the team itself and 
not in every facet of the project. This is really something interesting and unique and uh, a dedicated team that can provide uh, help support 24 seven for new people who want to find out about any project is really important. How about Thank the future plans? Well, I mean, right now, our main focus is on launching the platform in October. And we've also got an early access round. So people who invested in our pre ICO round will get early access to the project to the platform before the end of June. So once we actually launch the project in August, there's a number of additional features we want to implement uh, along with a steady schedule of new coins. So after we've done that, we're going to make use of our community venture fund. So actually during the investment round, we reserved a small proportion of the crypto shares to form a community venture fund. And the idea of that was that community members could vote on what we wanted to spend the money on and we would sort of go and, and do what they wanted to do with that money. So we've had some great suggestions from a, a mining operation, a crypto news organization that's unbiased, a listing site and an advertising service, and even a cool idea of launching an atomic swap platform. So it's something that we're going to have to let everyone vote on. But I think there's some exciting possibilities ahead. Thank you very much, Nathan. Everyone, this was all about local coin swap and you can find out more on their website. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching and Nathan, good luck with the ICO. It's a really nice project. Thank you very much for your time.